And new tonight after nearly a six months on the run, a Pasadena man accused of a murder in Houston is now in custody nearly six hours away. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live with the story tonight. Jessica. Hey, Eric, tonight the 30 year old is in the custody of the U.S. Marshals Service in the Valley awaiting extradition to Harris County. He will eventually be brought back here to the Harris County Jail. He has had an active murder warrant for months. Today he turned himself in. He's been on the run since the 27th of December. December 27th. For almost six months, Rhonda Bailey wondered how and when it would come. Roberto Madrigal has eluded police since the fatal shooting of her son, Jamar Sampson, in December. Now she wonders why. That's a good question. According to Houston Police, Madrigal shot Sampson and Raphael Smith after an argument at this business on Lee Road and then fled. Samson died a week later. Smith survived. Madrigal was charged with murder and aggravated assault and had active warrants. Today, just before 3.30 this afternoon, police in Donna, Texas, a small town 350 miles away on the border, say Madrigal walked into their department and turned himself in. I guess he felt like he was in a box. He felt the walls closing in. Police did not say whether he gave a reason Samson's mother doesn't need one. First of all, this is wonderful news. Let's get that's correct. This is beautiful news because now I can start healing. This is my beautiful giant Jamar. The days since she lost her only child have been hard. It's a daily struggle. She says Madrigal scores no points with her for surrendering. She wants to see him stand trial for her son's murder. His arrest, she says, is long awaited, but just part of the process. This is a nice step, but it's not over with yet. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.